My name is Michelle May, and I'm on the Board of Trustees. I'm also a licensed okay. practitioner here, and I'm back home. Yay! <laughs> I love being away, and I love coming home. So, first off, I'm going to share all the good things that we've got going, and we've got a lot this week. We have another very, very full week of beautiful community. But first, it is birthday Sunday, since it's the last Sunday of November. So who had a birthday in November? Hey, wow, lots of birthdays. All right. after for a little birthday celebration with some pie and speaking of we will need a little bit of help Elizabeth's going to be helping to cut pie but we need two more volunteers to help Elizabeth after with the hospitality if you could raise your hand Ron Stover had somewhere else okay great Sue I feel like I'm an auction and and anyone, anyone else okay great Natalie awesome thank you ladies <laughs> we're always oh sold sold to the volunteers that are big of heart <laughs> But thank you. And we are going we are looking for more permanent volunteers for hospitality as well for wanting to keep happening. Have it happen. Ron Stover needs a little bit of assistance. So please stay with us after that. So first off this week on Tuesday, we have our healing circle from seven to eight. So join us with music with Maria Christina and all the practitioners of CSL. We just come together for an evening of beautiful healing, prayer and music. So please join us from seven to eight. And then on Wednesday, there's Spiritual Living Circles. Miss Anna Myers, who's in the back with her cute little Frank Sinatra hat. She was greeting us at the door. <laughs> Sinatra, we've been calling her. On Wednesday, she has Spiritual Living Circles from 3 to 4 in Princeville, where you just kind of get together as a community and talk about the Science of Mind magazine articles and anything that's coming up from, from this month's articles. So come join her and find out if you need more info where and all that good stuff with Anna after the service. And then on Thursday, we have our annual Christmas tree lighting. Yes, it's tis the season. Thanksgiving is done. <laughs> and we get right into our Christmas activities. It is over. So what we do is we just come together as a community. There's music. We'll have the tree. We do need a few volunteers for that, too, to stay after and just put up our tree, which just consists of putting it up <laughs> and branching it out. And uh, you can bring an ornament if you'd like to. We have lots of ornaments from years past. So you can also just help put those ornaments on. But we come together for, for music and some food and, um, you know, just, just community to celebrate the season of life. So join us. That's Thursday from 6 to 8. And then on Friday, <coughs> wait, there's more. We have our monthly spiritual cinema. And this month it's going to be Collateral Beauty with Will Smith. And if you, if you have seen it or haven't seen it, it's a beautiful metaphysical movie that's all metaphorical for time, love, death, everything. So come along. And as always, we'll have discussion after to talk about the movie and, of course, popcorn. So that's going to start on Friday at 6.30. And then two other activities I'd like to mention for De December to mark on your calendars is we have our Women's Potluck. That's going to be on Saturday, December 8th at Reverend Rita's house. 
and it's going to be hosted by Reverend Rita and also all the different practitioners here at the center. But we do need you, like need, need the ladies to RSVP and we have a sign up sheet in the back. So that's going to be Saturday, December 8th from 11 to 1. And then Reverend Rita is going to be doing a workshop all about forgiveness. So why forgiveness? You'll find out why and you'll find out all sorts of tools to use and practice in your everyday life for all kinds of forgiveness for others and for ourselves but it's all different tools and rituals so that's going to be on December 12th from 6 to 8 30 also there is um, a sign up sheet in the back and that's $20 for that class all right that is all thank you so much for your kind attention and enjoy your service and I'd like to introduce Reverend Rita and Reverend Patrick Thank you, Michelle. Uh, I just want to mention one thing, because uh, it ha just happened and Michelle was not aware of it, that um, the North Shore Men's Choir, is that what they're called, Steve? Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah they don't really have a name. Okay, they don't really have a name, but they're going to come. The No-Name Choir. Uh, the No-Name no Choir, directed by Mark Anderson, and <laughs> Steve is in it over there, stream. Um, is going to sing at our um, tree lighting and they'll be singing at like 7 p.m., right? 7 p.m. For, for a short little concert, yeah, which is going to be cool, yeah. And I also want to introduce Barbara over here. She plays for us at the end of the month and she's here with us today. Yay. Everybody's back. Everybody's back. Everybody's back. Everybody's So um, we're going to take a moment now um, for our peace candle. But as we did last Sunday, I want to do that again, which is where we join together in our heart center and, um, and center there for peace. So if you'll just close your eyes if you feel comfortable. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to move your energy from mind to heart. It helps sometimes to just put your hand there. And then just to slow your breathing down, taking a deep breath, the count of five, holding it, and letting it out slowly to the count of five. Take another breath, slowly. Hold it. And let it out. As we slow our breathing, we allow ourselves to know, I am safe. And now, as we are centering in our hearts, if we can just think of something that allows us to anchor there, maybe the emotion of gratitude, care, compassion, appreciation, Sometimes it helps to think of something that we feel grateful for or feel cared for. Just stay there. Continue to breathe slowly into our heart space. Let's take a moment of silence. And so, anchored in this space of the heart, joined as one, 
in the one heart. I know and claim that peace is, and I give gratitude in advance for it, knowing that as we have joined our hearts together and continue in this space of love and heart, that we radiate that energy out <coughs> into our lives and into the world. And so I just let it be so, as we affirm together. And so it is. Thank you, everyone. That makes, feels good. It makes such a difference. Okay. So, um, welcome to Center for Spiritual Living and Kauai. Did you know that we're an international organization with um, centers for spiritual living all over the world? And so you've landed here on the island of Kauai, and we're here for a purpose, and that is to know who and what we are, to radiate our lives out from that place of wholeness, that place of oneness, that place of compassion and love and union with spirit, knowing that that is truly what we are, is the presence of God walking on this earth in each in our own individual amazing, wonderful way. So I'm grateful for you all being here today and to celebrate with us. As we celebrate gratitude today, I guess the talk title is Gratitude Changes Everything, and I know that's the truth, so stay tuned. Mm. Yes. And, and we are grateful for you. It looks, uh, did everyone have a nice Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yes. Every day is a Thanksgiving, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we see the little babies back there. It's so nice to see. Yeah. So, everybody's looking. Are you talking to me? No. I know, there is right over here. Just such a, um, the holidays seem to bring out so many wonderful people from the mainland, and we are truly a global community, and that is something we are very, very, very excited about and happy about and blessed about. So who is here for the very first time? Please raise your hand. We recognize you by your shells um, that are on there, very first time. Um, well, we'd like to let you know that even though this is your first time, we know something about you. Yes, yes. I bet you're wondering how we know about you. Well, uh, I bet you're wondering. And we're going to tell you, but we know something very, very special about you, and we're going to let you know now, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You are magnificent. <laughs> you are you know, magnificent. There is something so beautiful about the relief laugh. Yeah. Have you ever seen a relief laugh? It's like... <laughs> oh, good, good. It's not that. Um, so what I would like to also let you know is the reason we know that about you is because we know it about ourselves. So shall we all say it together? I am magnificent. Now behind you there's this camera that's here every single week and it's called live streaming. And things are so different than when I was in my well, I would say church or center. When I was a kid, we didn't have cameras looking at us like this. But we do because everything that happens in this room and on Kauai with our community doesn't stay here. It goes out there. And there are people listening and watching every single Sunday. And I know Betsy's watching for sure. Betsy Edelman, so we're going to say hi to her. Betsy. Betsy. Hi, Betsy. <laughs> See what I mean? That's the whole family thing, right? So we know that about them, and so I think we should let them know who they are. All the people, even the ones on the island that didn't get up and come down. Let's do it. <laughs> you are magnificent. Now look to your left, to your right, around you, somewhere, and just let somebody know who they are. I know Desiree's magnificent. These guys are magnificent. These guys Ah, so let's get up on our magnificent feet and have an opening song, shall we? Let's do it. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> say thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you for you. this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, 
Spirit, thank you for this day. This beautiful, this beautiful, this beautiful day. This beautiful, this beautiful, this beautiful day. Thank you for my friends, Spirit. Thank you for my friends. Thank you for my friends, Spirit. Thank you for my friends. My wonderful, my wonderful, my wonderful friends. My wonderful, my wonderful, my wonderful friends. My radiant, my radiant, my radiant hell, my radiant, my radiant, my radiant hell. Thank you for my life, spirit. Thank you for my life. Thank you for my life, spirit. Thank you for my life. My abundant, abundant, abundant life. My abundant, my abundant, my abundant life. As we continue right here and right now, swimming in a sea of gratitude, that continuous, continuous divine energy that moves through in each, every one of us, that declaration of truth that where I am, good is, where each, every one of us, good is. No, not just good, greatness is. So what I know about this day is it is flowing easily and effortlessly. And we have come together as an Amahana to be together, to know the truth together. And that truth is that each and every one of us is that pure spirit that has never been touched by anything but good. So I know that this service unfolds easily, effortlessly, graciously, lovingly. And I just say thank you, thank you, thank you for this day. Thank you for each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for each and every one of us in this divine circuit called good and called God. So we release it. We let it go as together with gratitude we say. And so it is. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. This healing, this healing, this healing day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit. Thank you for this day. This beautiful, this beautiful, this beautiful day. This beautiful, this beautiful, this beautiful day. Thank you, everyone. We are waiting for Rob Jones to come up here with multitasking. <laughs> there we go. But if Rob were here in this moment, <laughs> there's this is another where place we could you. use a volunteer. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Rob. Rob Jones, don't even have to introduce Woo! yourself. <laughs> Practitioner extraordinaire. Yeah. Well, good morning. Good morning. Roseanne said that I'm the turkey that got forgiven. <laughs> it was Paul. You better let him know who Roseanne is. My, my wife. I wouldn't let my girlfriend say that. <laughs> Like wrapping a present 
and not giving it. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Enjoy.
There is 
For those of you that don't know this already, go ahead. No, 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 no I told you to do it. <laughs> no, no. If you wonder why she whispered over to me, she said, introduce Deb. Go ahead. Well, you go ahead. No, I don't. No, no, Deb. Deb. So I will, I will start with the, Oh, you know, we're so transparent here, aren't we? Um, here's the deal. Four and a half years ago, this beautiful woman walked into, not here, but the Aston Aloha, or is it the Aloha Aston? It really doesn't matter, it's not there any longer. Um, but she walked in to the room, and it so just so happened, Rita was off island doing whatever Rita was doing, and the title was what? Flying Solo, and I was flying solo. And it just so happened she had just flown onto the island solo to start her life here. And two days later, we found one another, and now Deb Valentin has been such an incredible part of this family, and a contribution that, that words couldn't even possibly say enough of, but you know I'll try. Um, but no, but the most important thing to remember is that our events will probably have to take on a whole new look of decoration once that, that this beautiful lady, and she's on our board, and she is powerful, and she is a spiritual being that's going to go off to Colorado and just take on the world. So, we have a few things that we'd like to, so come on up, Deb Valentina. And on behalf of our wonderful center, we have this wonderful little plaque that says, Deb Valentina, for your loving, dedication, service, and support, Ahui Ho, with love from your CSL Kauai Ohana, November 2018. And so, and just so you know, there's fingerprints all over it, so we'll all... So, so you'll be able to take that with us as well. So would you like to say a few words I while... Would. I would. Of course I would. <laughs> Just a few words. You gave me a little heads up about this. So. Don't worry about us. We're hovering. Oh my goodness. I just want to uh, look out and see everyone. Uh, so beautiful. So good morning, each and every one. Um, I'm already crying. <laughs> it is still Thanksgiving weekend, and I am full of deep gratitude. Um, I would like to share with you a few things that I'm grateful for. The list uh, goes on and on, but I'll share just a few. I am grateful for the teachings of Science of Mind and for the foundational classes that I took over four years ago when I first came on island. They grounded me in the principles of Ernest Holmes' teachings and I use them every day. I am grateful for the opportunity I have had to serve this beautiful CSL community by being a fully participating and vocal member of the board. <laughs> I am grateful for the opportunity I had to be the set designer and house manager for the cabaret and other fundraisers uh, here at CSL. And I am grateful to have had the fun of co-creating with Rita um, the women's holiday lunches for the past four years. And I'm so sorry I'm going to miss this one by just a few days. <clears throat> I am grateful for the variety and quality of the classes that are offered here. And for me, I am particularly, I particularly enjoyed Patrick's inner child work, um, which I gained a great deal of, he of healing from. And I also healed past wounds through creating three 
10 minute performances about significant events in my life through the flying solo classes that were brilliantly led by Reverends Rita and Patrick. I am grateful for all the loving and supportive friendships I have developed here. The last four and a half years with CSL Kauai have been the most expansive in my life. And so mere words cannot express the gratitude I have for what Reverends Rita and Patrick have created for all of us, all of us to participate in and experience. And now I have the great privilege to take all of who I have become and expand my wings even further for my new adventure in Colorado. I will miss you all. My heart <coughs> is very full, and I love you. Ahui ho. Now we want you just to sit, just down, sit and, down and bask in another little treat for you. As soon as Jonathan's ready. that spirit in the greatest and most magnificent way as she moves into this next journey and that everything she touches is beautiful and a success and that we go with her in spirit we are always connected and I'm grateful for her and so it is you don't have to work it out just stay in the here and now 
let your mind rest for a little while. Sometimes deepest answers come when you're out there having fun, and you know how to do that. So close your eyes and take a breath and smile, everyone. Amazing, amazing, you will do amazing things, amazing, amazing, you will do to say. I know, right? I don't even know where my notes are. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> wow. Gratitude, right? <laughs> Feel the energy of gratitude. It is definitely an energy, and I just want to say a few words about that. Many great masters have said things about gratitude. Things like, oh, gratitude, the energy of gratitude is not just a feeling that is conditioned by some outside effect. Gratitude is a causative energy, said Eric Butterworth. Gratitude is my prayer, said Deepak Chopra. And my Meister Eckhart wrote, if the only prayer you said was thank you, that would be enough. Our Ernest Holmes said an attitude of gratitude is most salutary. It bespeaks the realization that we are now in heaven. And of course, my Dr. Joe said gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. So I don't think there's one great teacher or mystic that has not told us about gratitude. And what I'm understanding about gratitude is that it's not a thing you like do. It's not like a, like something that's, it, it, it's not an effect of something. It's a cause and it's causing effect at every single solitary moment. Like Eric Butterworth said, it's a causative energy. It's not something that, that you have to wait for something to happen to be grateful for it. It's something that causes everything to happen. And that's what I understand gratitude to be. And in my own life, I just know that any time I'm ever struggling or ever wondering about anything, if I just go into the space of being grateful for this moment, for the little things that I, 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 like I'm walking across the parking lot of Home Depot with Patrick yesterday <laughs> with Christmas lights in my hand and I'm looking at him and I'm going, this moment can never be repeated ever again. And I'm just grateful for this moment of walking across this parking lot with this person that I love just with Christmas lights in my hand. Or in even in like, Situations where, the, where I might not be at my highest and best, something might be happening in my life, I can just be grateful to be alive and to be able to feel those feelings of hurt or feel those feelings of, 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 of whatever it is. Even a feeling of anger, I can just say for a moment and go, oh my God, I can feel this. Now, do I really want to feel this? No, let me move. But I can be grateful for myself, just for everything about me everything about each and every person in my life. Like right now, I'm having a little issue, some issues with um, family stuff right now for some reason. Maybe it's the holidays coming up. And I'm finding ways to deal with that from a standpoint of gratitude. And I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for every single solitary experience because what I know 
and I really know this, and I think it's August Gold that said it, Ernest Holmes, they all say the same thing, <laughs> that our universe is for us. It's not against us. It's for us. And that means that everything that's happening in our life is the universe calling us home to ourselves. Every single solitary thing, every sad thing, every happy thing, everything that, that scares us, it's calling us home to ourselves. So what can we do besides be grateful for it? The universe is saying, I'm here. I'll give you everything you want. Just give me your gratitude and let me know what you want. Become the thing that you want and it's yours. That's what we live in. We live in a quantum universe that everything is here for us and we get to choose in every moment like how we want to experience it. We can experience it in ingratitude, or if that's a word, I don't know, or gratitude. There's choices. Where is that thing? It says, oh, this lady, she wrote, both abundance and lack exist simultaneously in our lives as parallel realities. <laughs> We're living in parallel realities and we get to choose. It is always our conscious choice which secret garden we will tend. Right? I'm going to read it again. Both abundance and lack exist simultaneously in our lives as parallel realities. It is always our conscious choice which secret garden we will tend. And as we tend the garden, that's the garden we get to live in. Does it mean that everything in our life is going perfect all the time? No. It's going perfect, yes, because our life is always unfolding perfectly. But we're not here to like live a la-la existence of not experiencing all of life and all its beauty and the guts of it. and, the, and all. Of it. That's why we're here on the physical plane, is to understand the material rea reality and to deal with it and to stay in a high state of vibration through it. And yes, the things we look at will change because we're looking at them in a different way. And so it's, 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 it, it has to change. The things we look at change as we look at them differently. And I know, and I claim, and I know that gratitude is the energy that is the changing energy in this universe. Gratitude for everything. How can we not look out at the ocean and all the beautiful fish and everything that's in there that need our love right now and our gratitude for their very existence so that we can help to heal the ocean all of it it's going to be healed with our gratitude gratitude our bodies how can we not be grateful for all these trillions of cells in our bodies that are moving through us all the time making everything whole that's what they're doing every time and we, have, we might be abusing our bodies or whatever it's still doing it for us how can we not be grateful for that there is so much to be grateful for and I think if we can just start right where we are and find one little thing and focus on gratitude, things in our lives will begin to shift and change. And we'll have whole new eyes and we will see so much clearer everything that's happening on this earth right now needs our gratitude, needs our love, needs our appreciation in order to bring it to the next reality, the next new experience that we're in right now because we are as we know and we talk about that every Sunday here. So I believe that gratitude is that energy and it's not about things and presence and all of that. that all, that's good and we should be grateful for that but <laughs> gratitude means it's already happened. It's already happened. So if there's something in your life that you're waiting for right now just realize it's already here and be grateful for it and you'll see it. You'll see it with a whole new set of eyes. So, I am grateful for the center. I'm grateful for each and every person here, or Deb. And thank you for being in my life and for walking into the center and just giving so much of yourself with your red pen and all. <laughs> she comes to board meetings with her red pen, goes through all the reports and goes, I want to know what this is and that is. She's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> I had to say that. Anyway, I am so grateful. Just grateful to be alive, grateful for everything. So I just give that gratitude to you and just let it fill us up. And so it is. Thank you, Barbara. This, the title of this song is Grateful. And it was written by our own local Daniel Nelson. And if you know it, I invite you to sing with you. Great. 
so high. I give thanks for the flowers, the rain that makes them grow. I give thanks for the sun and the wind that blows. Grateful, grateful, my life is blessed with your beauty. Grateful, grateful, my heart is filled with your love. I give thanks for earth creatures, all being shining bright. I give thanks for the angels that guide me with their light. I give thanks for my family and friends who bless my way. I give thanks for the breath of each new day. Grateful, grateful, my life is blessed with your beauty. Thanksgiving dinner, we're so full right now that I'm your dessert. So I hope you've saved room. <laughs> Thank you so much. We love you, Barbara. Thank you. Thank you. We love you, just by the way. Yes. Grateful, grateful. So my question for the day is, is it possible? Yes. <laughs> you guys are so easy. You'll say yes to just anything, won't you? Is it possible for me to do a 10-minute talk? Oh, how they turn on the yes. So the question is, is it possible for us to be grateful, really grateful, for everyone? Hmm. Yeah, it is. I love it. It is possible. That's called the loophole. Uh, it is possible. And it's so really okay for us to own sometimes. I know that this morning, here I am doing this wonderful, wonderful talk, preparing it and getting it all ready. And my computer was, how do I say this? <laughs> Well, to put the purple back on, all I got to say is no. And for those of you who wonder what the purple is, the purple is that no complaining in a complaint-free world. It's actually back on just as a gentle reminder. I was talking about that this morning. That sometimes after we've done the 21 days, we get all laxed. And we think, I got this down. <laughs> until all of a sudden something comes up and then you're down. And so, it just is a gentle reminder. But it's this idea of being grateful for everything. And this morning I was thinking, how can I be grateful for this computer that is not, you know, dancing with me the way I really want it to dance? And how can I do this without screaming out to Rita, you know, Rita, it's not working, because she's my techie at home. And, um, but, what I, but what I really got from it was, it wasn't about, I can't be grateful until everything is going right. But what it was really telling me was that how do I become grateful for things that have not happened yet? And for those of you who are new to Science of Mind and Spirit, we have our modality, which is spiritual mind treatment. 
And that basically is steps, not because our words do anything, it's the feelings and the power behind them. But our fourth step is what? Gratitude. And when we thank in, the, in, our, in a treatment, we're not crossing our fingers or hoping or wishing. We have made a declaration. We have made a statement. And now we are just saying thank you as we unwrap the gift. And we absolutely have the power to do that if we believe. Neil Donald Walsh, this is what he said. I was at a lovely brunch yesterday and we were talking about our, our Neil Donald Walsh. For those of you who don't know, he's our, you know, conversations with God. Man. He says, gratitude in advance is the most powerful creative force in the universe. Gratitude in advance is the most powerful creative force in the universe. Most people do not know this, yet it is true. Expressing thankfulness in advance is the way of all the masters. All the masters. So do not wait for a thing to happen and then give thanks. Give thanks before it happens and watch energy swirl. So I have a new even take on gratitude for me. Gratitude is incredibly powerful. I was telling Rita this morning, I said, you know, it's kind of like forgiveness. It's something that needs to constantly be practiced. And it isn't just because, you know, somebody gave me the gift. It takes real courage. To me, this is what gratitude is, especially grat grateful for something that has not occurred. It is the absolute proof of faith. The absolute proof. And I don't know about any of you. Well, probably it's just me. But sometimes with my gratefulness and my... I get a little wish-washy sometimes and still have that thing that says, I hope it happens. You know, I really want it to. I'm really grateful. And then I also, this morning... Boy, it was a busy morning from 5 a.m. Um, just so you all know. I had this other one that says, you know, just be... You know, I could hear this voice. And I do a lot of inner child work, so it's usually that going on, saying, you know, just be grateful you have a computer. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I don't think this is being divinely guided to me right now. Because first of all, I wouldn't have that sassy tone. You know, <laughs> you should be lucky you have one. And then I had to be, but what it was teaching me and what I was grateful for was incredible patience. There's nothing worse than I'm ready to go. Twirl, 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 I am grateful, I am, twirl, 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 twirl. All right, I'll switch it over after. But I really got this idea of what it has to do with it is faith. And it's not saying that I liked all my experiences, that I was so grateful for all my experiences, and that I like them. But as I've said probably here before, I did a little reviewing of some of the things that I wasn't so grateful for. And I went, let's pluck them out. Let's take them out of my history. Let's make it that it never happened. I have the power, because I said, Abukadabra Alakazam, the power of God is who I am. So I can like pluck them out, like they never existed. But then I wouldn't be me. That's a hard one sometimes to really, really grasp yourself around. Especially if there's been abuse, especially if there's been anything that is so painful and that is so wounded at times. But if you take that away from me, I wouldn't have met half the people that I've met. I wouldn't have met Rita probably because our paths were not, it wasn't like, you know, a kismet thing where it's like, go to New Mexico, find her, you know. It, what, it, what it was was the, the opportunity that my life unfolded and I have to be blessed and thankful for all of it. All of it, the good, the bad, and what we call the ugly. We spend our time, we, I know, I, I spend my time sometimes dividing up my history 
into good and bad and indifferent. And that's a really big, for me, waste of time. And when I was a little boy... <coughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I said I wasn't afraid <laughs> of having gratitude for it all. Oh my God, I just, wow. Hey, bud, give it a little high five. Ah, ah. Where the hell was I? <laughs> so here's... <laughs> I just, have I told you how grateful I am for all of you? <laughs> because you truly, welcome home by the way, you truly love me for who I am. And, and, and that means a lot. So also that came up this week for me was um, grateful for my life being eternal. And that was a big one, eternal, that it keeps going and going and going. But guess what isn't eternal? And I'm grateful for that too. The experiences of our life. They're temporary. Everything is temporary. That's why I think that yesterday all of our experiences are temporary. That's why walking through Home Depot, one of my favorite places, um, is... Um, <laughs> Yeah, being the builder that I am. <laughs> I cannot tell you, I'm going to let you just know right off the bat about gratitude. I, I, there's nothing about Home Depot that, that actually turns me on. I'm just going to let you know that. Except the Christmas lights. That we wear. You guys, where am I? So here's... Here, <laughs> Right here, right now. <laughs> so, but, but why that was so important to me, that my life is eternal, I can relax in that, and yet my experiences are temporary, so I don't have to make such a big to-do out of them when they're not working out to my highest, uh, what I feel is my highest. When the computers aren't working, it's temporary. When things are happening in my life, it's temporary. And that's the good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's kind of the good news and the great news that we have this opportunity, this opportunity to just take in life and say, yeah, yeah, it's going on and on and on and I will, I will always be here. Maybe not in this particular form, so take a good look. <laughs> Maybe not this particular form, but I do know that it's all temporary and I'm so grateful. And it takes incredible, and that's how I'll end this wonderful time with you. It takes incredible courage to have gratitude. Not just when the pretty package comes and you get to open it and you go, oh, that's what I always wanted. But even the package that says, wow. I didn't even know I wanted that, and I don't want that now. <laughs> Someone was saying the other day, I was talking about a friend of mine who, when life goes a little left, when you wanted it to go another way, he says, wow, my life is like so screwed up right now. That's the kind of powerful manifester that I am. And I own it and I take responsibility for it, and guess what? Now I'm going to create, and I'm going to manifest from another place of power, and that is from that place of gratitude. So hit it. How do I say goodbye after this kind of talk? Do you think that Rita's the only singer in the family She may get up here and mesmerize you But I have got my own, my own, my own little style
Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Crazy kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get back at my body. Okay. Enough of that shenanigans. <laughs> oh God. Where are we? That was now really we're gonna talk funny about collection. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> Barbara, thank you very much. This happens all day long. <laughs> Sometimes all night long. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank you for the night, Barbara. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Are there no rules here at CSL Hawaii? <laughs> anyway, it's our time of giving. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you in advance for all the beautiful donations that have come through this center all year long and today and always and sustains the center and keeps it going and helps us bring this message into the world. And thank you for everyone that's online. Uh, yeah, that that thank you. It's so wonderful. Thank you, thank you. We totally are a donation-based organization. So thank you, thank you. And so we have an affirmation in our program. Let's read it together. I freely and joyously give from the abundance and fullness of my overflowing wealth, knowing my gift goes with love as it touches and blesses Center for Spiritual Living in Kauai, my life and the world. And so it is. So it is. I give thanks for life from my roots up to my crown. I give thanks for love that's within and all around. I give thanks for the rain, sacred waters of rebirth. I give thanks for the sun always shining on the earth. I give thanks for I am a conscious co-creator. I give thanks for I am my own liberator. I give thanks for you. You shine so true, aloha, I honor the divinity in you. Mahalo, Keakua, Mahalo, Nui Loa, Mahalo, Kahonua, Meke Kame Kamakani Ame Kahua. I give thanks for I am a conscious co-creator. I give thanks for I am my own liberator. I give thanks for you, you who shine so true. Aloha, I honor the divinity in you. Aloha, I honor the divinity in you. tithing center and 10% of what we get what you bring in goes back out and this um, this month part of our donation is going to um, the center in Paradise Hills because after 65 years they lost their whole center in the fire every bit of it burnt to the ground 
so they're starting all over. So just you know, some of our donations are going to them. Yeah, we yeah. we were actually talking to them. You know, it hits home when we know we have our center. But there's another beautiful part about that is the thing that they remember is that 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 is the center is gone, but they're not because they are the center of this entire you know system. So it's building up right from where they are. So you know, it's, we are the center, even though we're in a building, and they've had theirs for 65 years. So. 65 years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Anyway, all right. I think we have children with Janice. Come forward. We do. Oh, yay. oh what a sweet little group. <laughs> Look at them. They have a little song they'd like Five to sing for us. Five little angels. <laughs> Oh, four. Four. I counted wrong. Well, five counting Janice. Uh, <laughs> four, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Four beautiful angels. And today we made um, mosaics that represent our life and all the different things in it, knowing that God is all there is and that God is good, loving, and giving and in everything and every part of our life. And so these will be our reminders. And the girls, some of them wanted to share the meaning of their mosaics. The blue on mine represents how much peace there is in between the different worlds that we have. And the black is the earth, the purple is the sky, and the middle is the heavens. <laughs> What a beautiful lesson. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. All right, we got to give them their blessing. All right. Are we ready? Let's do it. You are amazing. You are perfect. You are magnificent. And we love you. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, kids. Thank you so much. Janice and George. George is in the audience today. Thank you. He's up next week, I believe. Yeah, we also are looking for volunteers in our youth center, so George and, and um, Janice have some help. It would be nice. It would be nice. You don't even have to do it every week. Okay. She's just, so, uh, she's just saying. Anyway, um, all right, so we have any practitioners that are serving today? We do. I'm sure we, we do. Have Reverend Diane. Reverend Diane. We have Rob. Back Rob there, back there. And, and where is Dr. Peggy? Yes, and there's a stool up there. You can Dr. Sit Peggy right will be up here. Over. Yes, and Malia, yeah, are you going to be in the bookstore up here? Whatever you want. Oh. Well, come stay in the bookstore. It's oh. all right. Where's Rosanna? <laughs> oh, she's counting. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe anyway, Malia can't come. And we'll yeah, go to the it's all right. Well, it'll be fine. We have three. One, two, three. Okay, good. good. All right, so what this is all about is that um, you have an opportunity to have the uh, blessing of a spiritual mind treatment. If something's come up for you during the service, something you want to know more of the truth about, spiritual mind treatment will help with that. And these ladies can explain what that is to you, um, so I don't have to give a lesson in spiritual mind treatment right now. But it is a powerful modality of healing, so take... Um, the opportunity to enjoy a spiritual treatment. Yeah. And just a little adding on to that, a lot of people ask, you know, throughout the week, what is a session? Just come and talk to us. What is a session when you actually come here and we spend 50 minutes to an hour for spiritual, what we call spiritual counseling? Just come and let us know because I know a lot of people say I don't know what you mean by that when you say a spiritual counseling session so we yeah will and you that. can also ask Dr. And, Peggy and Reverend and, Diane about that exactly too, and any of the practitioners okay right. so um, I think that's it it is shall we rise shall we rise to the occasion let's finish with this song by Karen Drucker last week for this song God is my source God is my power God gives me everything I need, and I give thanks for all my blessings. God gives me everything I need. Love is my source, love is my power, love gives me everything I need. So I give thanks for all my blessings, love gives me everything. Joy is my source, joy is my power, joy gives me everything.
denied me. So I give thanks for all my blessings. Joy gives me everything I need. So what I know about that is, yes, love, joy, God, all of it, it's all one thing, and it does give us everything we require in every single solitary moment. I know that because each and every one of us is the power and presence of the divine. It is moving through us, that joy, that gratitude, that God source is moving through each and every one of us, and I'm grateful to know that, grateful for this time that we have spent together today, enjoying each other, laughing, celebrating, raising consciousness, enjoying every single solitary moment, and I am grateful for Reverend Patrick and his song, too. That was wonderful. I'm so grateful for the joy that that brought to us, and I'm grateful for each and every person that served today. Michelle, for her announcements. Welcome home, Michelle. Yay. Grateful for the Malama team, um, Melissa. Anna and I don't know who the third person was because Angela's not here but whoever it was and I'm grateful for them too and I'm grateful for these beautiful flowers please scream out your name who brought these flowers who oh some secret person all right whoever it was I am grateful for the flowers and I'm grateful for Rob Jones who did his practitioner work today and also live stream I'm grateful for Jonathan doing the sound and for the hospitality team always led by Ron Stover but for all the people that jumped in today the thanks thank you I see Charles back there and Elizabeth and whoever else jumped in Sue I guess thank you mahalo 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 and to Roseanne and the bookstore Malia and thank you Barbara for joining us today with the music thank you thank you and Luis over there always beating for us on the drums and Janice for the youth and the collection stewards Michelle and Roseanne yes that was it and um, thank you to everyone online who joined us today. And thank you, thank you to Deb Valentina for being a part of our center for these years. Knowing that you're always a part of our center because we're always connected in the heart as we all are. So I give gratitude for that. It's a beautiful spirit that brings us together as we just affirm together. And so it is. Peace is my source. Peace is my power. Peace gives me everything I need. So I give thanks for all my blessings. Peace gives me everything I need. God is my source. God is my power. God gives me everything I need. So I give thanks for all these blessings. God gives me everything. Mahalo everyone.